reaches triggers, and so does Malcolm. So I get to sacrifice the newly created clue. And then... Okay, so I won the flip. I have two schooners now. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Wait. Ooh! That's good! <laughs>Howdy partner and welcome to a new Outlaws of Thunder Junction standard video and in this video it's time to look back at one of our favorite archetypes from the past couple of months is that pirates and this deck has gotten some really sweet upgrades from Thunder Junction. One of them is Breaches the Blastmaker, a 3 mana 3-3 three, three legendary creature goblin pirate and menace that says whenever you cast your second spell each turn you may sacrifice an artifact and if you do you flip a coin and if you win the coin flip you copy that spell and when you lose the flip, Breaches deals damage equal to that spell's mana value to any target. And Breaches is just really, really nice. Like, I had opportunities where I managed to, like, copy a schooner, where I managed to copy a crewmate. There was also a moment where I was hoping that I would lose the coin flip with Breaches so I could do damage and take out a creature, and it worked out. It's a little bit of a gamble, but both sides of the coin are still good. Like, you're going to get value out of it. Breaches definitely, like, Im impressed me. It definitely impressed me. It absolutely is a, a three off in a deck like this. Now, another new card that we have is Malcolm the Eyes. Two mana, two, two, flying in haste. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, you investigate. So we see like a little bit of a theme going on here where you kind of have to cast like two spells. And that's why the curve of this deck is super low because I want to make sure that I am a like, capable of doing that. So we have a lot of one drops and a lot of two drops to make sure that we basically get that. Now, the nice thing about Malcolm creating a clue token whenever you cast your second spell is that you have that really sweet synergy with cards like Captain Storm that gives a 1-1 counter to a target pirate uh, that you control whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, and also the Goblin Tomb Raider that gets plus 1 plus 0 and haste as long as you control an artifact. So that's really nice. Another new card that we're playing is Reckless Lackey, a new 1-mana Goblin Pirate with first strike and haste. There's an activated ability for 3-mana where you can sacrifice it and draw a card and create a treasure. This has felt okay. Um, I have preferred a few more copies of Kumano over the Reckless Lackey, but it's still okay to have. We love playing with new cards here, so... Another, um, speaking of new cards, another banger that we're playing in this deck is the Lost Jeet, a one-mana legendary artifact equipment from Big Score. Whenever an equipped creature deals combat damage, you put a charge counter on the Jeet, you remove a charge counter, and then you can choose to untap a target land. Target creature can block this turn or put a 1-1 counter on the equipped creature, the equip cost is one and i like this in a deck like this because we have a lot of these cards that work with like artifact payoff but the jeet in a way functions as like a second breaches almost like with the um making sure that the target creature can block this turn i've had a lot of value just like buffing up my flyers i've had a lot of value like untapping target lands like the jeet felt absolutely cracked and i'm currently working on like building the new version of simic cookies and as a spoiler alert, I'm definitely shoving some cheats in there because this card did so much work, <laughs> especially in artifact-focused decks, like this, for instance. Another new card we're playing, Slick Sequence, 2 mana instant, deals 2 damage to any target. If you've cast another spell this turn, you draw a card. We have that synergy, you know, that where we want to cast multiple spells a turn. So more often than not, we draw a card with Slick Sequence as we cast it. Another new card, here we go, another one, Scorching Shot, 2 mana sorcery, deals 5 damage to a target creature. Um, I'm still figuring out if I like this card better or worse than Witchstalker Frenzy. I think in a deck like this where we want to double spell kind of before combat to get like the value out of that, I like the Scorching Shot a little bit better. So um, for now, that's my preference in this. And outside of that, we're just doing regular pirate stuff. I mean, we have uh, three mana breaches from Ixalan in here, Spyglass Siren for artifact synergy, Staunch Crewmate to, uh, you know, not run out of cards. Obviously, we have to have some boats. Like, no pirate deck is complete without some boats, so we have the subterranean schooner in here as well. And the deck just felt really good, especially now that we have the Spire Bluff Canals, the Fast Land, finally in Izzet Colors, so the mana feels good too. And um, this is by far the best that Pirates has ever felt. The new cards are incredible upgrades, better now than it's ever been. Is it Pirates, guys. So let's get into some gameplay, but before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and especially subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of my Thunder Junction brews. Alright gamers, that's it. Let's get started. See you in the next video. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible katana sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below.
definitely lacking pirates here, but you know what? I don't hate it. Arg. So where's that? It's a banger. <laughs> it's a banger. All right, we'll start off with Jeet. Sick looking thing. Oof, like, um, our, our, um, Chief, I don't know about this. We might not be fast enough. The hell am I playing against right now? I have no idea. Oh fuck yeah, they're playing 150 cards. Oh brother, what is this? <laughs> the flute solo, yeah. This is wild. We're gonna be uh, crewing a subterranean sco scooter with the Mirax most likely, huh? Yo, Frost, thank you for the 38 months. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Well, whatever. Like, I, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm going to do it because I can. Wow. Great. I was actually going to, like, equip it on breaches. That's why I didn't do it, you know? Yo, this is crazy. I thought I'd put 22 lands in here, not, like, a million or something. Is that a cut down? Uh, it might be. A boat holding a knife. Yeah. More friendly. I need lens for too many. You damn right. You had a charge counter on this now. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I can just activate that whenever. That is really cool. Okay. Might so crack the compile in a tiny sooner. <laughs> Definitely. Look at all these pirates. Yeah, our board is just look at all these pirates, guys. We worked hard for this. We really did. We worked so hard to have a board full of pirates. Gosh. Hashtag grateful. Yeah. <laughs> Super grateful. Correct or whatever. So that I can activate this to give it a 1-1 one, one counter. Alright, I'm seeing something. Oh, that at least got what a haste or whatever. Sure, I'll take it. Rex and Might is the real pirate of the seven seas. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jeet's value though, like I've, I'm strongly considering putting this in cookies. Um, this is looking really good. It's looking real good. Our boat's carrying knives. Okay. Yeah, it's just GG's for them right now. Breaches, you can hold the sword. To your right.
Doesn't really matter. We win these, right? I also think that then tapping a land could be super relevant in cookies sometimes. The one one counter is also really nice in cookies. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jeet and double strikers though. Ooh. Trippian legendary. Well, the thing is like you don't, you just have to play like one sword in decks because Skellen can grab the cards, right? I think. Kellen's adventure side allows you to search your library for an art or equipment card and reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle. You can just play one off. You just play like the one offs that you need, and like Kellen will grab them for you. But yes. We're talking about the good Kellen, the Boros Kellen. <laughs> the Boros one. That one's where it's at. Okay. Yeah, the good one, the good one. Red, white. I think it was like the first skeleton ever, right? The realist. Uh, Cavern of Souls on pirate. Let's go. Here we go. How many Kellens? Like four? <laughs> I think five. I don't know. Many? One too many? Three? Oh. No, there's four, right? Yeah, there's four. You got the Boro Skellen. You got the the Ixalon White Green Kellen. Then you have Murder Skellen, which I honestly don't even remember what Murder. Oh, Murder Skellen was the Simic one, and now we have the the Bent one. Fifty, <laughs> Fifty Shades of Kellen, basically. Yeah. You just have like a whole Kellen deck. You would be probably in the worst deck in Magic history. I don't think they have anything in common with each other, do they? Besides like some artifact synergy here and there. Kellen Tribal. <laughs> worst, like worst Magic deck ever. Five color Kellen. I guess four color. Okay. I think Kellen, the Kellens are done. No, I think somebody in the chat said that lore wise, the Kellens are done. It's over for the Kellens. Thank God. To be fair, to be fair, they should have shoved Kellen in Duskmorn and then kill him. <laughs> and then kill him. Maybe that's like, that would have been a great ending. Kellen gets lost forever in the haunted house that is Duskmorn. That would be a great ending. Exactly. Shove Jace in there too. Exactly. Actually, did you guys see the spoiler for Magicon Vegas in October? We actually saw art from Duskmorn and it's got Kaito in it. I don't know who the other one is, but Kaito is confirmed for Duskmorn. So rip Kaito. Stuck forever. Yeah, yeah. Kaito for real? For real? It's a... Uh, Kaito is stuck. <laughs> Kaito is stuck for life? I shouldn't have played this out first, though. Yo, we got a schooner. Okay, so I'm interested in seeing how this works so if i play subterranean schooner right now reaches triggers and so does malcolm so i get to sacrifice the newly created clue and then okay so i won the flip i have two schooners now <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> wait Ooh, that's good Ooh, all right two schooners for me as a treat oh that's nice you guys <laughs> Ooh, that was pretty nice now hold on okay breaches i'm seeing you i see what you're doing right now all right we got a fleet <laughs> yeah breaches gave us a fleet rather than just one boat all right Ooh. 
They're so intimidated by breaches, they're just gonna hit it with a rolled soul rage. Now nah, that's pretty sick, you guys. Whoa. And if not, it would have dealt what like two damage, which is also not bad. Ooh, that was sick. <laughs> I mean, we already had lethal on the board, but that was really nice. Rough. Weaver of Harmony was his enchantments. Oh, we're getting some like crazy matchups. <laughs> Cheat. <laughs> Is that what I need right now? You know, honestly, I could see it because if my next turn is Scorching Shot, then at least I could guess Cheat too. I guess. What is this? Still three cards, all Jeets. I swear, if we get another like triple Jeet, then I will take one out. <laughs> I promise, I promise. If they like us that much, I will. I promise. Okay, they traded. If they like us that much, then it's fine. Oh, it's the hallowed haunting. Breach is time. Hallowed haunting gamer? Cheat with two charge counters. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> be very afraid. Don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but it could literally make like two of my opponent's creatures like not block. So, and we have breaches. What the shit is glorious sunrise? I don't know. Never seen it before in my life. <laughs> A mystery. <laughs> Cube All Star? Yo. New Commander card? <laughs> Yo, new Commander card. Uh, so. I'll give this a 1 1 counter and I'll do it again because I'm a bad bitch. Breaches? I don't just target face one time. <laughs> Please, can we get in standard? Um, what's the fucking blast card? Shrapnel blast. Please. <laughs> Please. Please, for the people. For the culture. Can we get a, a shrapnel blast? Well, we should win in the air, so. Drew a lot of cards out of that. I tried a second spell or whatever, but it's fine. I have two ways to make their whole board not be able to block. So we're going to do Jeets, unblockable, Breaches, unblockable, win the game. 
Trap more blast with a different name so we can run A. <laughs> yeah. One time, one time. An awful lot of legends. Mm, a reasonable amount, I think. A reasonable amount. Not too insane. Like this. 11. Not, you know. Not crazy. I guess Jeets, but like, Jeets is for the, um... I'm assuming you're talking about like potentially Plaza or something in the deck. Enchantments. Well, shit. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I could play Pierces. Double breach cast, it feels really bad. Well, that's why we're playing three offs, right? That's why we're like playing a bunch of like these three offs. Out of respect for the legend rule. Lord Breakfast, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. We cooking over here. Standard pirates. So um, it's feeling pretty good. Better than it's ever felt, I think. That is uh, an experience, but okay. I am a believer. Pirates. Two Tomb Raiders. Mono one drop would go hard with breaches. <laughs> We're raiding. There we go. Easy light work. I think they uh, kept the hand without green or something. So yeah, I'm not against it. I mean, we got some good lands. It's okay. I'm not a hater. <gasps> Bum, bum, bum. They just played a banger on us. Forsaken Miner. I wonder if this is uh, Skelly's? Is Kutzel Flanker a pirate? Because he would be sick. Roots. Oh, 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 okay. We got Malcolm Captain Storm Synergy coming up soon. That's really nice. I'm having myself a little protein bar too. A little bit of a recharge session. A little bit of a recharge moment. It'll be interesting to see this. It'll be interesting to see ASMR. Okay, so that's really cool. Mm, I don't want to put the rubble belt in the graveyard, so I'm just going to hold back. Yeah, they kept, like, white mana only. So that wasn't um, great on their part. <laughs> I missed out on the whole color. I took a risk. I wish I could like double spell here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be game over very soon. Um, so I have to just swing for however much I can. And try to win in the air, probably. We're putting five. We have five in the air right now. They got to deal with that somehow. 
or beat or like literally kill me right now. So that worked out, <laughs> but that worked out at least. Sure. Okay. I wish this exiled. I wish it did. It'd probably be a bit too good. We got a little bolt already. Well, then again. With the current state of standard, would have two mana that's like consistent out of red, red. Sorcery, deal five damage, exile target creature. If it dies, would that have been too good? I feel like it would have been okay. Mm, I'll play boat, I guess. That's all for me. Bat challenge. <laughs> we love the bat challenge. Oh shit, it's Tybar. All right. Put my camera back on. I have had nice enjoyment out of my uh, protein bar. I mean, yeah, it could get rid of the bat, but Tyver could bring the bat back, so whatever, just let it go through. Tiny Bones and Joyers in the chat. Oh, hell yeah. We had some uh, crazy games with Tiny Bones earlier. <laughs> Satoru, what? Oh, that's like pretty huge uh, um, payoff, isn't it? Satoru, like um, Roots. That's that's good payoff, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Um Desperately need a land somehow, some way. Tiny ceiling show off. <laughs> Tiny has done some crazy shit for me lately. So I have slick sequence to get rid of bat and look scorching shot, but it's like hmm. I wish I could get rid of Satoru. I mean I can do slick sequence, I guess. Never mind, I don't have the mana. I'm kinda screwed. I'm kinda screwed. Uh it maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking like, is my play going to be like Goblin Tomb Raider and then like put the map on it or something? I don't know. All right. Well, that worked out. I wouldn't have mind if it was 3-3, but I should be grateful that we found a land. <laughs> Yippee! Honest Rustine? Honest Rusty, not very honest. Hello, Ivy. Are you here to be nice or? So very long. Yo, Kelsey, we're on 45 months. That is true. Wait, what, what just happened? Oh, that's sick. <laughs> oh, that's really sick. Oh, damn. Rustine making combat courier cost zero mana so they get the trigger. Oh shit. Well, that's kind of gas. Wombo combo. God, my mana is just awkward as hell. Awkward as hell.
I could slick the rusting. I am probably supposed to do that. I also draw a card, right? Breaches. Auto breaches. Is that breaches? Would have liked to see a reckless breaches. Just me though. Hive our triggers, triggers Satoru. Dang. They're kind of like mean for replaying all these bats, dude. <laughs> Very mean. Have our soon breaches. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Like, oh, never mind. I was like, oh, student breaches will be mine, but no, no, no. A Lucacious. That's at least a very efficient way to deal with Tyvar. We'd love to see it. Then what? Um... Crewmate, let's see what we get. The Jeet, ooh. Mm, just crewmate though, I think. Triggers for days. And book on that, create a treasure, exile top card. What do we have? Schooner. Mm. Keep exploring these lands. Like I keep like acting up, like finding it very strange. Like how do we constantly, you know, manage these lands, but I'll take it. Somewhat of a lost cheat myself. <laughs> Valid. I gotta be getting close here. It's just that an army of bats is just ready to fuck us up. Some of that, they also have like two Rubble Belt Maverick to buff up the bats, which also is unfortunate. They get a good life, you know that. What are you swinging at me for? So you go back to 11. Wait, we have to do some math here. They go to 11. They at least play out the bat. That's for sure. Make the bat, bat unblockable with breaches though, or like not capable of block with breaches. So then they only have five Fiji archaeologist, archaeologist with books breaches or schooner. And then I still swing for five, seven, nine, ten. Enough, I think. So I take this. Actually, I don't know how it works if they get a. Uh, I think we might be short now. So, mm, Captain Storm, Crew Schooner. So then treasure and treasure can do Mirax. So that would be two one one counters additional on the flyers. So then that's three. I, I think we win. Uh, actually, so the ground gets booked by these three drops. So then I have two, four, six, six, seven, eight. That should I, I, math says lethal, but I will see. I 
I'm pretty sure the quick math is working in our favor. I think it's more than that, actually. We're gonna create a treasure, can block on deep cavern bat, exile top card, which whatever. So the treasure triggers, target a flyer, Mirax, create another artifact, target another flyer. And I think that was the trick. Yo, it's Bass, Stinker to five. I think that should do it. There we go. Math for blockers. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Ayo, 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 whoa, we did it. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Hey. <laughs> that was weird. Update available. Please restart. Oh, what the fuck? What are they like? Oh, are they, are they like hot fixing the sideboard? Maybe we're playing pirates because we're crazy. All right, yeah, it, it, be it better be the sideboard fix. <laughs> It better be. Ten minutes. Ah, shit. We gotta go. We gotta go. Someone else playing pirates. Crazy coincidence, if true. All right. We equip the G2 to Goblin Tomb Raider, which is gas. We're going to swing. We're going to untap a land. And tap Spire, replay Siren, Vibe. Right now, yes. Uh, it's gotta be the, the sideboard, right? Ayo, hey, Dragon Spark Reactor. Ayo, hey, what the fuck? I'm getting a little scared. What is this thing saying, man? We're not end of charge counter, deals damage. Use normal charge counters to one target player. Ayo, hey, Chef, okay. Chef, we see you, Chef. Yes, Chef. A chump. Ooh, I can feel the whole client lag. <laughs> oh, did they think that if they like chumped it, we wouldn't get the cheat or something uh, trigger? Maybe. Sweet summer child. Hey, oh, so what a glyph. They're not swinging. Oh, they're making a lot of mistakes. Happens to the best of us. Uh, cannot look this turn. Okay, treasure, exile. Okay, crewmate. Imagine reading cards. <laughs> the opponent is not doing that. And that's okay. That's their right. Siren. I uh, I think we're chilling. We're not losing on board tricks. <laughs> yeah, maybe at one point it'll be a massive animation for uh, you know, the G. <laughs> I don't know. Breaches, anything that can make things unblockable. Who knows? Yeah, I got a lot of power, or access to a lot of power. What do you have? So, Melk. And I'm gonna do... I'm gonna try this. Lightning Bolt reprint. We could never get a Lightning Bolt reprint ever again, especially now that the Slick Shot's in the fucking meta, dude. A nightmare. Okay, I think we win with Slick Sequence. Treasure... and block... Exile... Wool and Slick Shot, it's, it would be Jover. <laughs> it would be Jover. Uh, so I could technically make one... Is that what I'm supposed to do? So how much am I swinging for? Let me do the math, even though my brain is tired. Five, seven, ten, twelve. Okay. G2. 
Jeet absolutely slaying right there. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. The hold fix is separate. It has to be the sideboard, I think. Okay, that was pretty gas. Uh, what do I need here? Maybe some pierces. Seems like it could be okay against them. Things are a little, uh, a little bit more expensive. There we go. Maybe. Looks all right. Yo, how do you feel with the new set? Love it. Very good cards in there, which is nice. Who are you? Generous Plunderer. Oh, that's fucked. I'm playing Artifact. <laughs> oh, that's that's fucked. Oh, that's fucked up. That That's fucked up. Oh, no. That, that's fucked up. I, okay, I guess I have to find removal somehow. I don't know. Definitely sucks for you. Yeah, it definitely fucking sucks for me. <laughs> ah, shit. It's also ramping me up, though. Like, I could use the, the treasures and stuff. What is this? I mean, I'm just gonna pierce it. Like, at least you're not gonna have the mana open then. Fuck you. <sighs> Fuck. I'm in just not doing good right now. Somehow, someway, like, always lacking removal. <sighs> Fucking sucks. How much are we playing in this right now? Yeah, uh, three, four, five, six. I mean, should be okay. Dude, I don't know. Fake cookies, yeah. Mm. Legion Extruder? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I think Legion Extruder could be played in an Envil deck, maybe. Like, that could be cool. Um, maybe, but I don't know in a deck like this. It's a little bit too much of an, uh, an engine, kind of. He's fucking dead, dude. Crazy as hell. Just dead. Fuck. No removal, but I don't know. I'm not saying no to like three perfect lands and a curve, you know? I can't. I can't do that. Ooh, that was what, like four lands in there? Hmm. 
removal it's a fucking miracle let's go baby breaches like kind of could also remove things ah, i see what you're planning something something instant speed create a golem or something All right, point. Mm. Oh, I don't have artifacts to sacrifice about to say. Where's my coin flip at? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Oh, that's fucked because they're just going to turn it into a... I could sack the gear drake. That's scary. Brockard, yeah. A little bit. Man, this army of like fucking three threes is going to be uh, pretty impossible. God, Legion Extruder is value. We got the G. I'm gonna swing, like, go ahead, I guess. Go wide. So close to like accomplishing something. They could just create another extruder. Yeah, I know. We're so close to breaking through, but like, not really. Is that what's going to do it for me? Goblin Tomb Raider? So they can get access to, what, like, four creatures? Reaches demands a double block. I think that's lethal. They do jump, block, 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 block. Then we still win. I think it's swing, but everything wins the game here. If it's block, 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 then you still have four. Yeah, send it. Tomb Raider off the top for the win. I want to play this sick fucking deck though. Wait, or am I? They can't walk with Spyglass Siren and. Or not Siren, Restless Fire. I don't know. I wasn't really sold on Extruder, but like the opponent's putting in the fucking work right now, dude. Like. <laughs> Crazy.
Yeah, that's insane. Damn, that was like very powerful. I would sh I'd love to shove some braids in here, but my sideboard is broken. <laughs>